Hello, hello, welcome back. So Alibaba is actually reporting earnings today and uh, of course after the earnings report well, I'm gonna be making another video to examine exactly what is happening with the company but before that I wanted to sort of like see what uh, the analysts are projecting for this one. Pretty much talk a little bit about Alibaba, what has been happening and what we're expecting this uh, quarter and how we should be treating this, this kind of earnings report here. I do have an article here now Alibaba hasn't actually given us a guidance uh, for uh, this quarter in terms of what they're going to be doing yet we do have of course our analysts that are expecting some uh, some stuff and this is adjusted income of one dollar zero seven a share which is down 33 percent from the one year ago period on revenue of about 30 billion up three for three percent for its fiscal fourth quarter now if you take a look at uh, the income statements of the past uh, just kind of quickly here, you can see that typically Alibaba's revenue growth has been in the 40s, 35, 50, 58. And so right now, oops, that's a different article. Right now we are expecting, uh, you are expect we're expecting 3% in terms of the revenue growth. And so this is uh, very, very suppressed. In this, these expectations are extremely suppressed, of course, because if we're looking at 3%, this probably means that uh, the overall um, you know, the overall increase the overall uh, revenue will be about uh, maybe 12 15 percent maybe 20 percent for the whole year or so but uh, this means that it will be a massively suppressed for, from what the company has been doing in the previous uh, years really so we do have some lowered expectations here as you'll see so again adjusted income of 107 i said that that's down 33 percent from the year ago period, that was significantly lower, which means that if Alibaba actually beats this kind of uh, expectations, which are not much actually, you could see the stock uh, climbing. And uh, this can easily happen after a stock has been battered down, especially when they have the stock has been battered down, because again, expectations are super low, so, for, so the street expects worse things. So if, it, if something happens that is like out of the ordinary or better than expected, you could actually see the stock flying. But we don't really know, of course, what's going to happen. The market is uh, vicious and it could continue going down for a while. That's not the point. We kind of want to examine though what uh, what we should be expecting or what we could be expecting from Alibaba here. Now, Alibaba right now is sitting at near 82 bucks, which is absolutely insane for a company of that sort. It is trading at about uh, uh, eight or so uh, in terms of price to free cash flow, probably even lower. We can take a little bit of a closer look at the current price to free cash flow ratio of the company is. Yeah, it's about eight over here, which is insane for a company of this sort. And um, they are showing, of course, confidence with uh, buyback. They have announced that they, they would increase uh, their buyback program to 25 billion from the 15 billion that was allocated before that. And they have already brought back uh, 56 million shares for 9.2 billion dollars. This is a very, very interesting sign and encouraging sign really in terms of the company. And I want to see what's going to be happening in the future. I actually really, really want them to keep on buying because they do have the cash to do so. Now, another article that was actually fairly interesting here, I like I like to read this one, uh, is um, this article that's describing what has happened with Alibaba, which has lost about 31% of its market cap. Now, when the article was written, uh, the author mentions an 8.5, I believe, a little bit later, uh, price to free cash flow ratio. But right now, we are actually sitting at, uh, at 8. So the company's stock price has been going down uh, till this was since this was written. But let's see what uh, what we're expecting here as well. Again, this article talks about what has happened uh, in terms of Alibaba. This author here has written a lot of articles about it. And yeah, he, they, he's mentioning a depressed price to free cash flow multiple of 8.55. Right now we're sitting at 8, so we're even lower than this one. And uh, yeah, he's mentioning the draconian COVID-0 policies. We have talked about this nonsense. And uh, all these Alibaba numbers uh, remaining under pressure potentially. But the question that we need to be asking ourselves, is Alibaba's current valuation too cheap to ignore? I, lo I love this question. And the answer is, of course, yes. <laughs> but uh, we, have, we have examined this thing in details here. But Alibaba, as uh, this uh, author mentions here, is likely to report sales of $30 billion, which is a year over year growth of 3%, is what we talked about in the previous article. And again, if this is, uh, you know, if Alibaba beats, uh, beats that, then we could be seeing it uh, flying. And a 3% uh, revenue growth is not much to beat, frankly. 
they could be that even at, a, at this uh, weird environment like this stagflationary environment as it's mentioned here in china maybe they can still even beat this one because again this is low this is a low expected growth here for the next quarter okay so the article moves on and keeps on talking a little bit about uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Some of the expected uh, key metrics here for Alibaba. As you'll see, the year-over-year -year growth, for example, the free cash flow. This has been going great for Alibaba in the previous years. They have been increasing their assets tremendously. And so the long-term business pretty much is absolutely, uh, absolutely awesome here for Alibaba. And uh, this uh, kind of grades here mentioned that the growth may be a little bit of a concern. Because, yeah, okay, with this, in this current environment, we have supply chain issues, we have China, we have uh, policies of that sort. We have also the discussions between China and the US about what uh, is going to happen in terms of reporting with, uh, with uh, SEC. And so these are, these are some issues that will be resolved eventually, I'm pretty sure. But they, then again, they are, the article keeps on talking a, a bit about some technical patterns here, which I don't pay too much attention uh, to unless some trading, because this is uh, where, the, where they may be potentially useful, like the MACD, for example. They are not, these are not about long-term trading. They have nothing to do with that. But uh, yeah, the author uses a DCF model here, which we are, we are using at our website as well. And he comes to the conclusion that uh, they are, the stock price is the stock is actually worth about 500 bucks at some uh, uh, is what he's saying here based on the fundamentals Alibaba is worth about 500 dollars a share and the stock is trading at uh, 82 now it does depend on what depend on what kind of uh, metrics you are using if we take a look at our metrics here and our dcf model we tend to go more conservative here than usual and so I have done this exercise where I used something like, let's just say, 14, 16, and 18 here in terms of the growth, which frankly could be suppressed, maybe actually more in reality than 20, 22, maybe 25, and uh, free cash flow margin, let's just say, uh, 105, 110, and 115 here, and 13% for our, uh, our annual return, our discount rate. And uh, in our calculations here, you will see that we are getting a high of 316, a medium of 246, because our estimates here are way more conservative. And if you go with something that is probably more likely to happen, frankly, maybe something like 20, 22, and 24, you are obviously going to get higher estimates here. And now you're sitting at 400 bucks. And um, the net income margins have been on, for, on average about 25%. Uh, so this is uh, this high here could definitely come to be the case. So we could be sitting at uh, 400 bucks based on these uh, calculations here. Now 500 may be a little bit uh, too much in terms of an estimate based on the uh, model here. Uh, but he, yeah, the discount rate has been lower, like he uses 9.8%, for example, which I don't think it's great. I mean, I, I really want to be doing something like 13%, because if I use 10 here, you will see that uh, we're going at uh, pretty much where the article is pointing, near 500 bucks. And that makes a ton of sense because, again, an annual return of 10% is much, much less than 13. And we want to be making something closer to 13, not 10. Because if I wanted to make 10, I could just buy a, an ETF, like an S&P 500 ETF, which typically makes about 10%. Now, of course, if you're buying Alibaba, you could have also explosive growth. I wouldn't be surprised if in the next five years or so, this stock is at about 500 bucks or something. Wouldn't surprise me at all, uh, especially if all the issues are resolved. But you, go, you want to be a little bit more conservative by using an annual return that is higher. Maybe 13% is what I typically like to use. And so, yeah, even at 13%, we are super green here at our low estimates. Uh, with the current price of 82 and i have uh, made videos before in the past in which in which uh, even uh, if our revenue growth is zero here uh, you will notice that we are still <laughs> green here so even at a zero percent revenue growth this is uh, still a massive buy and it's actually significantly higher than the current price so this is this one is like a no-brainer to me a fantastic company i don't really care about what they're gonna be doing in the earnings report because it's irrelevant we know that there is this kind of suppression right now in terms of the stock and the stock price because of what is happening in China and the world. That's normal. But eventually all these issues are going to be, you know, are going to be resolved uh, sooner or later. And we're going to be, gonna be having this company moving normally as, uh, as it should be. Right now is extremely undervalued and it's, it's definitely a great time to take advantage of this one. 
zero percent revenue growth still 110 bucks to buy today i mean this is a, a massive no-brainer to me so thank you for watching the video let's see what alibaba is going to be doing tomorrow i mean I'm, I'm interested i'm curious and i'm definitely going to be creating another video remember you can always become a patron and get access to this tool that i'm working on pretty much daily and we already have quite a big community and we're having people talking about uh, about the tool and about stocks and about investing in our discord channel you can join that as well you can find all these links in the description box below this video would like would love to have you around and thank you for watching this one again i'll see you soon bye bye